Good morning, crafters. I am making some flowers this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. I got off work a little bit ago. I have my phone to do a little embossing with. Um, I don't have embossing balls. Um, let me see. I have this pokey tool. This end is comes to a point, and this has a teeny tiny ball. And then I have the middle one and the large one. Uh, large meaning this is as big as it gets. But I don't have a real embossing tool or larger embossing for like this stuff. Hi, Lisa. How are you? You're up early. I made a flower. You want to see the first one I made? I know it's a poinsettia dye, and I know this is black and white paper, but I thought if they turn out terrible, I might have to chuck them, but I am still up. I got off work a little bit ago. I tell you what, this was like my 11th day, or yeah, I think my 11th day. I actually had last Friday off, um, but... Yeah, I had drank so much coffee last night. I got home, was pretty wired. I was really excited. I got these in the mail last week, and I have been dying to try them. So I pulled out a bunch of just random scrap papers that if I had a piece that was bigger than, well, here, I'll kind of show you. This was all I really needed, actually, about, you know, about that. About the size of two decks of cards and you can punch out a whole set of flowers so i laid these on my die and just kept running random papers through and so now i have all these flowers i only really have one real christmasy paper and that's this plaid but i kind of like this pink and red it's like a uh, it's real intricate from one of those june bug i don't know um do you know what Junebug paper pads are? Did you ever buy those? I saw your, let me move this little window. I don't know why this window is always popping up. I saw your window showing you how much you work. <laughs> I'm complete. I'm a whiner. Well, these, let me grab, let me see. I have the, I love these. I can't believe they don't make these anymore. Um, this is a June bug paper pad and what it is, it's we it's mainly a card makers paper pad, but they're wee little teeny tiny prints, but they're real intricate. Let me hold it up. They're real intricately detailed. But all of the colors in these coordinate with each other. So I guess what people think of today is Maggie Holmes, um, because of all the coordinating colors they they did the same thing they coordinated all the colors to interact with each other but all the patterns were tiny and i love these teeny tiny patterns yeah i wish i was superhuman i am not i am just poor but i think i told everyone my son had broke his hand and he was going to be off work for six weeks and i told him i would help him i would do whatever it took so and he's not moving back home, right? So I would much rather just work all my days off to help him pay his rent than to have him move back home and get kicked out. <laughs> so, so there you go. Sounds like a noble cause, I know, but it's really very selfish reasons to be perfectly honest. And that is just to not have a kid move. I say a kid, he's 26, so... But I love these June bug paper pads. Most of them are out of print. They're real hard to find. Um, I find them every once in a while, like at a garage sale or the Goodwill, and I just snatch them up. But I love these little paper pads. So actually, I got this. Um, let's see. I'll show you what I got out of this. This little blue. This which is like aged. This is navy blue. I know it kind of looks black. I don't know if you can tell beside the black. It kind of looks like a dirty black on my camera, but this is more of a navy blue. And then I took this one out, but I didn't end up cutting any flowers. 
with this page. And then this came out of this pack too, this real busy little print here. It came out of this. So I took both this and this out of this June bug. I was saving that for Christmas anyway. I figured at Christmas time I would use that, but this came out too, this pink and red. I always thought I would use it for Valentine's Day, but I didn't. So I thought, what the heck? Let's use up some little paper. I don't have very much of this one left. I thought about cutting this out, but I think this would look weird with the white flowers here and there. So then I just pull, started pulling out some random black and whites because I thought, well, let's try some black and whites. So I got some big, what I did with this one was I tried to alternate. Like I made the biggest flower kind of a even half and half black and white pattern like this. Let's see if I can find it. Where it was like, I don't know, I was trying to think of like what person of the paper is white and what person of the paper is black. And this seemed like 50-50, poor guy. <laughs> so he is so this kid has so been so unlucky lately, but he really his luck has changed. It seems like things went his way in court yesterday, so I'm thrilled. But I thought, well, let me start with like a 50-50 paper. Put that on the bottom because this is a weird print. Like, does that makes your eyes cross? When you look at this paper, I swear it's like an optical illusion. It's crazy. And I thought about using this too. This will be the bottom of a flower. I don't know why I cut little ones out of this because I don't think this would look good on the top. I think as you progress to the top, you need a smaller and smaller print, which is why I chose this map. I don't know if you can even see this on the camera, but this is actually a black with a white map. So it's like a reverse, like a negative uh, reverse, you know, instead of black writing on white paper. And then I used this real fine. This was a botanical print and that's the second layer. And then the third layer is a weird print. It's um, more of a bold white line. So I alternated white back, you know, more white, more black, more white, more black. And then I used four, di the four different patterns made that. So it's kind of weird. And it almost looks now I'm thinking, um, I have a box to mail to Lisa tomorrow. I, I'm thinking about including this because she does all that Halloween stuff. I think that would be really pretty on some Halloween stuff, don't you? I almost kind of want to pull out some orange paper now. Yeah, these salmons. <clears throat> I'm a little unhappy about this. Let me tell you what I just found out. The ones I bought are not on a wire. They're on a string and they're really kind of, it's a wax string. So it's a little bit, it's stiffer than regular string, but it's still not a wire. So it's a little bit harder to thread through the hole. The center hole in these is not very big. So I think what I'm going to do is get my hole punch out and, or my crop it out and just start gluing the, the flowers together and then punch the hole a little bit bigger so I can stick the stamens in. But I did find my yellow ones, which is exciting because I thought I was going to have to dye some of these and I don't know how well these will dye because these are the pearl finish ones. But I really like these big ones I found. Um, I showed these yesterday in a haul and these are the really the hard ones, but they're big and I think they could be used as berries because they're so big, don't you think? And they'll look nice with, um, see how big they are compared to the, and I think they'll look really nice with some holly leaves. And I don't know what I did with my holly leaf dye. I was flipping through my book earlier, but it's all disorganized because I'm always pulling dyes out and putting them back in the wrong place. What are you doing this morning? You're up early. Well, I guess it's not that early anymore here. It's 1030. I don't know what time, what time is it where you're at? Seven thirty, so it is early there i'm starting to run out of steam a little bit but i was so excited i couldn't wait to play with these and i wanted to have enough flowers so that i could kind of interchange things and find things that look good together here's this is an almost ugly pattern but you know i think that's the fun thing about layering papers is sometimes you find a really ugly paper and you think gosh what can i do with that and you put it with something else and it just pops and you're like wow that looks great so I thought what I'd do is use like a muted green and a bright green and try and alternate those together with these botanical prints. And then I have this green with black, which might be interesting to throw in the mix too. So who knows? I don't know. We'll see. 
what I can come up with here. You never know, I guess, what you're gonna what you're gonna end up with. I kind of like that actually. That's white and that's like off white, but I don't I don't even care about that. I don't know, I like this too, but you can't see it very good. But these are tiny little X's. Can you see the tiny little X's on these this paper? It almost just looks polka dot on my monitor. So I can't even tell. Let me see. Oh, it's not going to pick it up. My webcam stinks, really. It's an old, it's a really, really old. Um, I said I got it at craftdirect.com. And it is, I'll just show the world my address. It was, um, it's the Cinch and Go Poinsettia Etched die. Now, I don't know what cinch and go means, really. Um, but I do know that it, if there's embossing, but you know what, when you, I don't know if you can see, you can probably see it better on the back of some of the thicker cardstock you can see, maybe. It's not showing up very well. But there is embossing and but I wanted to shape the flowers so that the petals were a little bit more, see from the side, a little bit more three-dimensional. So that they have a little bit more volume. And so, yeah. So I thought when I, when I was um, embossing them, I thought, you know what? This really kind of, it kind of messes up the, the little embossing. I have, actually I have several ways I store my dies. I have my, um, my nesting, like my general shapes. So like circle squares, just kind of generic things. I have all in envelopes, in those magnetic envelopes. And then I have my theme dies kind of grouped together so I have music notes and music paper and things um, in, in a book. And then like on the next page, I have like all the dress forms and dresses and things. So I don't have that many dies, but I like group my whimsical together. So I think I have like, I have a couple unicorns and a fairy and something else. And that's like all in that section because that's all I have. Um, and I bought some dies for the recipe book I've been working on and I keep those with that stuff, that whole, all that whole thing, that mess is like together. <laughs> so I don't forget I have something for it. It took me so long to collect that stuff because I just bought stuff here and there. I really do need a better system for my dies. My problem is I pull them out and I don't put them back where I store them. So I have a little basket and then I have next to my die cutting machine. I throw them in there and then I go through the basket. If they're not in the book and they're not in the basket, then I don't know. Sometimes they're in the machine. I'm kind of bad about putting those away. I get really excited though. After I cut my paper, I want to go on with my project. And so I go over there and crank the handle and get my die cut out and then go do what I'm doing. I want to go back to use my machine again. The waste paper is still laying there. The dye is still laying there. It's all, you know, I have to clean it up before I use it again. So I'm kind of a little kid when it comes to that stuff. I'm starting to run out of steam now. I am off tonight, thank God. <gasps> I have the um, the big shot. <laughs> That's terrible. I, I have the big shot. And I actually got that at Tuesday morning. Um, 
probably a year, I think a year ago. So that's kind of why I don't have that many dies is that I, I didn't even have a die cutting machine up until about a year ago. And I thought about buying a, a Cricut and everybody's like, why don't you buy Cricut? Cricut does this, Cricut does that. But I did a lot of hand lettering and I took great pride in the fact that I could paint these signs and that I did these things and I felt like I could cut shapes out and I had a lot of paper punches anyway. But I think that, I don't know, I kind of felt like the Cricut made things a little too easy and I, I liked making, you know, I liked part of that process and not just rushing to the finished project. I actually like the process itself. And when I'm done, I almost feel, I don't know, sometimes I feel let down when I'm done with something. Even if it's beautiful and I love it, I'm ready to just give it away and, and start a new project. Is that weird? Because it is about the process for me. So, strange but true... I really am liking this dime or this, um, whatchamacallit, uh, this poinsettia die. And I don't think you can necessarily tell with this that that's a poinsettia. I think that could just be a flat, you know, any random flower, especially if you could actually take these. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's try it and just see how it looks. If you went through and just snip these ends off, let me see what I'm gonna layer this. I don't know, what the heck, let's just go for it because, because it's just got that little point on the end. If you went, or went and rounded these off, I'm gonna make a little miniature mess here. It doesn't even look like a poinsettia anymore. It just looks like a regular old flower. So, then you can make it anything you, you want from that to that. So, even if you didn't have a flower punch. Well, let's put this on. Is that too big? That's the wrong size. That's why I tried to group them in sizes because I keep messing up and grabbing the wrong size as I go down. I think these are all the same size. Yeah. See, I'm... I'm making a mess. That's why I named my Instagram channel. Dana is making a mess again because I am always making a mess of this stuff. Always. Let's see. What should we put next? What, what, what? Is that crazy looking there? Maybe. Talk a little. Yeah, I like that. That's what I'm doing. That's what we'll do right there. Maybe. 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 What do you think? You know, it makes it I, you know, <clears throat> I don't think, I, I don't think you can make too many ugly flowers if you, if you just think about a contrast a little bit, but I've never seen an ugly flower. I don't know that there is one in existence. I don't like that there. I thought I would, but I don't. Is that weird? I am a little delirious, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, I get a little dorky after a certain hour. This is a different green, but I kind of like the weird geometrical print on that. I don't like that too. That might be too dark. I didn't really think this through. I just started punching out uh, stuff out of my scrap, grabbing all my scraps. Let's do a black and white. Do another black. We'll do two black. A white on black and a black on white. Is that too that? That might be too bold. 
do that. Let me think of that. Yeah. Like that. I think we should draw that. Or maybe this little plus one. Let me think of that. I kind of like this one better. See, you know what? This is a bad. This is a bad deal for someone who's indecisive. <laughs> when I'm not sleepy, I'm not indecisive. But as I get more tired, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Sometimes on Friday, especially on Friday, I'm so tired. And Friday seems like the only day that me and Thad can really plan to go out to eat or whatever and he works during the day so we're kind of on opposite schedules anyway but Friday's a good day for us I'm off every Friday and I almost take every Friday off when I can and so he'll say where do you want to eat and I'm just so worn out by the end of the week I'm like mm, I don't care whatever I don't care wherever you want to go honey <laughs> Like a slap at me. Oh, I can't find the black and green one now. There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, what do you think of that? I don't know. Is that weird? Is that an ugly... Did we finally discover an ugly flower? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to bend this one up instead of embossing it a whole lot. I think I'm just going to fold it. What do you think? Maybe just fold these petals up where that little thing is and see how that turns out. Just give it a whirl. Oh, Dana. I like that. I do too. I'm kind of into that. And then you don't have to add any greenery because it's already in there. You know what works just as good as an embossing pen? The big ball one is a Sharpie. I found that if you just press a little bit with a Sharpie, it does a nice job. This foam is necessary though. It's necessary to have the foam. That is, but you don't really have to buy an embossing pen because you can really do a nice job. Look at that. You see that? You can do a nice job with a, um, with a Sharpie. See? Look at there. I'm sure an embossing pen would be, or a, one of the embossing balls, you know, it's got the stainless steel on it, so it's a lot smoother. So I'm sure that would be easier. You have to really press kind of hard with a Sharpie, but I'm such a cheapskate. But as soon as I find one on sale, I am going to buy one because, and I just never think, do you have that item that you never ever think of when, you're at the craft store. That's one of those things that I've said for a year. I'm going to buy the big embossing ball embossing pen. And you know what? I never do. And it's not that I'm cheap because I would just go do it, you know, use my coupon and go buy it. But I forget every time. That's one of those things I should just, that's when you have to just get online and just right then go buy it when you're thinking of it. I think I might do that when I'm done here. I think I'm just going to have to get on, go to find it as cheap as I can online, wherever, and then I'm going to buy it. No, I don't want glue to go through to that, to my foam. I found these little tiny bottles, these little glue bottles on Amazon. I love this. Do you ever buy those? Oh, I love these. My, this is, I get this out when my Aileen's is clogged. And my Aileen, or my Aileen's, I mean my glitter glue bottle is clogged right now. So, I just stick Aileen's in this because I don't, nobody's going to see it. But I don't like the sheen Aileen's. You know how Aileen's is just a tiny bit shiny? And I don't like that, so... Ooh, that's not where I wanted it. Dana, you got doofus. Let me see if I can pull this off. Oh, oops. 
it's a do-over. That that glued already that fast. Believe that. I was trying to alternate the petals a little bit more there, so they're in the middle. What? I'm going to hold that for a second while it grabs. Yeah, I do need some sleep. I just had to make some flowers. I, You know what I love the most about being off? Is the fact that I don't have to go to bed. That I'm not rushed. I can sit in here, mess around, fiddle fart. I love to fiddle fart. If fiddle farting were an Olympic sport, I could totally be an athlete. Yeah. That and procrastinating. I, yeah. I really could do a good, good. I'd be like MVP. Most valuable procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Dana. You're a goofus. Let me get another one of these salmon out. Does that should I apologize for rattling this bag? Does that sound horrible? Does that bother you when bags rattle? Oh. <laughs> Floating. Right, yeah. Fill fart. Floating, right. I am uh, fiddle farting, floating, procrastinating. That's when I'm not at work. I don't do any of those things at work. I actually, I work at work. I only float and fiddle fart and, and procrastinate at home <laughs> when it comes to dishes and embrace the crinkle. <laughs> Everyone apologizes for that. So you hear them. I never noticed it until Lisa said that. Lisa's like, Everyone apologizes for the glare, and um, I think I do it too, but I don't notice I do it, but I, then I heard her say it, and she was laughing about it, and I was kind of like, that's true, I think I do. All right, Dana, focus. Focus. Let's see. I am going to kind of twist these up and put a little dot here of glue so that I can thread these through here. Yeah. Let me squish this together so they get a little tacky. I guess I could have just dipped them in the water, but these are not wiry. Let me see if I can thread that through without punching the hole. Holy moly, guess what? I might get these through there without punching a little bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that will never happen. Like, that first flower I made, I I'm not kidding. It took me, like, 45 minutes. No, I'm, that might be a slight exaggeration. But, yeah, it took me a long time to get those through there. And those just popped right in. So, hey. Front row. Okay, so let me get my little trash pile over here. Snipping snippets and clippings, and then glue these little strings down to this back. I should put like a little dot on the back. Little. I could take my whole punch and just punch out like a little one of those little one inch circles and just put on the back to make them all look kind of finished. So there's that one. Pick this up a little bit more. I'm gonna bend these one more time just to make it a little more dimensional. Because it's kind of lost its shape for me pushing on it. There we go. Okay. Now, what do you think? And that's from the side. Kind of cool. I put all four layers on it. I didn't think I would because I thought it would be too big, but it's not really that big. So that's the one I cut the points off, and that's the one I left the points on. 
So now that I look at it like that, it does look more like a poinsettia, doesn't it? But I really like the green and the black and white together. That's just random that that happened. I like stuff that's not planned out at all. Hmm. How about that? I still say this ugly print, and this is kind of ugly. It's almost like... Um, it reminds me of a computer when I was a kid. You know how the... Like on the Atari, how the pixels were huge. Is that what they are? Pixels. <laughs> we should use the ugly paper and see if we can make a pretty flower with the ugly paper. That'll be the challenge of the day, right? So let's do, let's do the pixel paper and... Ooh, let's do this ugly X paper because that's kind of ugly too. I wonder, if, will two uglies make a pretty? It's like two lefts don't make a right. But three rights make a left. Or three lefts, either way. My grandpa didn't like to turn left. He heard that most acts, you know, a lot more accidents occurred when you turned left. And so he would purposefully plan when he was going somewhere, like if he got off the interstate to go eat, he would go down and if he was on a major highway, he would go down to the left and find a restaurant on the left. So when he came out, he could turn right. So he didn't have to cross so many lanes of traffic because you're already in one lane of traffic, you know, if you're on the highway, turn left or you know what I mean. Anyway, is that weird? I don't know how that's going to look. I don't know. Let's go ahead and bend this first one because I think I like the bendy look on that. So I think I'm just going to keep bending them. I wonder what it would look like if I bent all of them. If I just squish the whole thing up into a little, like, made a little cup of petals. It won't let me. The cuts don't go deep enough in the flower. I wonder if I snip those just a little bit towards the center. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot smaller, actually. I'm just going to fold all these up and see what it looks like folded. Because it's ugly paper anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. Shh, it will hear us. Oh, no, I'm sorry, paper. No, it's not really, it's not real ugly. It's just pixely. It looks like big, big pixels. Okay, got under my finger now. Just fold these backwards up and see what happens. Is this double sided? No. Oops, that was, that went way wrong, didn't it? It's like when you have scored paper. You ever have scored paper and you still fold it wrong and then you can't hardly get it folded right once you folded it wrong? Oh, oh, well, have fun. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Get off this mat so I don't get glue on it. I want to get glue on my mat.
Okay. I kind of feel like I don't want to put stamen inside the center of this one. I kind of feel like I want like a stone or a or a enamel dot. That might be too bright. Or a let me see what I got here. Maybe a big, maybe a little pearl. I'm going to put a little pearl in there. Just for the heck of this. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll put one single pearl over that little center hole. Let's see how that works. And then I'm going to bed. Because I am sleeping. It. Damn. Well, I don't show up so good. Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of small. Maybe I should add some little seed beads in there. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe some little seed beads. It's not bad when you bend it. You see, it's it stands up a lot more too. It's interesting. Hmm. So, well, I think that's it for me for now. I'm gonna have to get off here. Go get me a little shut eye. <clears throat> Maybe I will be back on with you all later. This is Dana with Constructing Artistics. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.